Hi everybody, my name's Frank from the City of Kings and today I want to talk to you about our item cards and something that might be a little bit unusual to a few of you. So, we're not just making item cards which kind of are the usual, they've got a picture of a sword kind of on a generic background, they've got a cost, they've got some stats, a name, and you kind of pick them up and you go, oh, you know, it's really powerful, I want that, or you just kind of, just, you go through the motions and... Of course, the pictures themselves are often really nice, but they're often quite reused, or they're kind of... They just they just don't tell you too much about the world and what's going on. And in our, in our game, we want to have item cards that are a bit more than that. So each of our items um, has been designed with a story in mind. They're all set in a scene that tell you kind of how they came to be, or where they are, or where they were found. And they just give you a little bit more information about what's going on. So every card is, in itself, a piece of art. It's unique, and the entire card will be filled with this picture with as little kind of overlaid information as possible, while still making it functional for a game piece. And on top of this, we kind of, when we design these items, we have this kind of thought process that goes through our head. And the most important thing is we want the artwork to be important. When you draw up that card and you first look at it, it's important that we kind of get you to focus on the picture, to look at it and be excited, to kind of be wowed by that artwork. And whilst not everyone will be interested in this, we want to put the effort in so that that initial drawing of a card makes you wonder what actually is going to be there. And then once you've all passed around the image, once you've all looked at that piece, to then focus on the stats and to see whether it's something or not that you actually want to use. Now, on top of this, we don't want every card just to be another picture. We want each of them to invoke different emotions. So we're trying really hard to make sure these stories all operate in different ways. So you might pick up a picture and it might be of a friendly dog that has kind of a necklace um, hanging from it. But then you might find a kind of a skull on a spike with this kind of evil mane of an animal kind of over the top of it that just kind of makes you see kind of death and kind of fear in this dangerous kind of land. Or you might find a beautiful crown lying on a beach with the water gently breezing across. But then you might find a spider, this horrific creature, and you might first pick up the card and see these boots. But as you start focusing on them, you suddenly see these eyes of this horrific beast behind and throw the card away because you hate that. And we're really focusing on giving you these kind of different experiences. So as you pick up these cards, they excite you and they make you wonder what's going to come. So when you get hold of a copy of The City of Kings and you first kind of see these cards, we really hope that you get the enjoyment, the comical value, the kind of fun cards, the scary cards, the evil, disgusting cards, the cards that make you kind of feel powerful and menacing, and the ones that make you wonder why that's quite like it is. So, let me know what you think. You'll be able to find a few examples of some of these items on our website, and more than happy to answer any questions. Please leave any thoughts down below in the comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.